team now. We saw what Miami was able to do down the stretch. You, you mentioned they beat Philly. They beat the Patriots. We see what Buffalo was able to do. So with the expectations, they uh, uh, they trade for Stephon Diggs, the Bills did. The Jets, the Jets hadn't made enough moves, Skip. Now maybe they got some something coming down the pipeline via the draft. But I just don't, I just can't say with any degree of certainty that Miami is going to be really, really good. They're going to build on what they did last year. Buffalo will build on what they did last year. I trust Coach Belichick. I'm going to say they'll be 10 and 6. Well, Fox Bet says that the over-under on Patriot wins is nine and a half, so you're going to 10 and six. <laughs> I, I want it yeah, in concrete six. right here, right now. I want it in stone. Shannon Sharp, the Hall of Famer here on Undisputed, says Bill Belichick's team without Tom Brady will go, ten, I'm writing this down, 10 and six. Uh, 10 and how six. many cases of Diet do do you want on 10 and six? Would you like... <laughs> Two cases, three cases. You you name the cases. Three. I will take that bet right now. Three. three. Okay, three. We we'll do cases, three. We we'll do three. Hall of Famer. Okay, Hall of Famer. Three cases of diet. You know what, Skip? Is? On I got Patriots a, going skip. ten and six. I got I got a bet for you. I got a bet for you. How about we do this one? The Patriots will have a better record than the Bucks. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Done, Mister Twelve and Four. Okay, you want. Th- Okay, I'm Mr. 12 and 4. I'll I'll do that because yeah, I, I cannot see yeah. Belichick's team right here right now being better than 8 and 8. I am I'm, I'm being nice to the goat coach to say 8 and 8 because <laughs> I can't see where they're headed. So, okay, do you want do you want those three cases on Tampa versus, you know, Brady versus Belichick and wins I want, then? I will I will I want three and three. I want three cases. They're going to win at least 10 games. Okay, I want good. three cases. They're going to have okay. a better record than the uh, Bucks. Done and done. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, let's see what Bill Belichick has done so far in free agency, or again, what he has not done. He has signed the immor- immortal Bo Allen, who used to play for the Bucks, a defensive tackle. Adrian Phillips was out last year, but he's a very good special teams player. I'll give you that one. Not bad. Demir Bird wasn't bad for Kyler Murray last year, but started, I don't know, maybe three games for Arizona. Mm, not bad. Then the immortal Brandon Copeland was signed, another defensive tackle. And, of course, Brian Hoyer, as soon as the Colts cut him, he is now on his 10th stop in the National Football League and has gone back to New England once again. As we think yeah. the backup quarterback, because by all accounts, Bill Belichick wants to go forward with Jared Stidham. I've already told you I'm not the biggest fan. I don't think he's bad, but I, and I don't think he's a bust, but I think he's going to have a really difficult time filling those winged cleats once worn by number 12 for 20 years in Foxborough. So if Jared Stidham starts next year, you will be lucky to get to eight and eight because it could be one of those. In fact, you brought it up. It could be a bridge year. It could be a rebuilding year, except I'm not going to let the goat coach off the hook by giving him a pass for next year. If he's that good, if he ran Tom Brady out the back door, then he should have a plan A, not a plan B or C, a plan A to get out of this because, Shannon, I'm going to quickly run through all the players that he lost, starting with Tom Brady and then going to Philip Dorsett. These are all starters from last year. Philip Dorsett, uh, Ben Watson, who was 39 years of age. He just retired. Ted Karras was the starting center last year. Danny Shelton, defensive tackle. Landon Roberts, who's a very good linebacker. Jamie Collins, who had a really good year last year. Kyle Van Oy had even a better year last year. Deron uh, Harmon, he traded to Detroit. And then he cut his longtime very good kicker, Stephen Gostkowski. So, Belichick does have the 23rd overall pick. And Mel Kuyper has him penciled in right now, taking Jordan Love out of Utah, the quarterback, but Todd McShay says Jordan Love's going to go to the Chargers at number six. So I don't know. Somebody's going to be really wrong on that one. But maybe if Belichick gets Jordan Love, I, I can't see Jordan Love starting next year. So I think, you know, eight and eight still looking like the right pick there. And you're, you're looking really bad at 10 and six. I'll give you this. I know. Belichick has a, he has a bunch more draft picks. He's got three picks in the third round. Remember, he gave up the two for Mohamed Sanu. That was a sweet move because that was a bust. 
Uh, so Belch has got three <laughs> picks in the third. He's got a fourth. He's got a fifth. He's got four picks in the sixth round. Is that going to put you over the top? He's even got two seventh round picks. He's bottom heavy with draft picks. I'm just not sure how you parlay that into instant success next year. I, I, you know, I could be wrong. I, I know he's very good, but go ahead. You remember, Skip, when Jamie Collins left in Cleveland, how did Jamie Cl Collins do in Cleveland? It was he did good with Bill, Coach Belichick, and the Patriots only. Kyle Van Oy, how did he do at his previous location? You, Kyle Van mm -hmm. Oy became okay. a name in New England. So he did. Let's, I, you need to, like, Coach Belichick has a way of taking guys that at the first stop, they didn't enjoy the level of success that maybe the team thought they would. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know what? Yep. It wasn't that guy. It was that you didn't know how to use the guy. Mm -hmm. See, Skip, if I, if, okay. I, if I buy a forklift, I should own a warehouse to lift pallets. But if I buy a port forklift to be in a parade, I'm not getting the use of him. See, they don't know how to use them. Coach Belichick going to know how to use them. And them four six-round picks, one or two of them might turn into be a Brady. But Andy Dalton is still in play, mm -hmm. Skip Bayless. Andy Dalton is still in play. Okay, he he might be. I'll I'll give that would maybe change it. You might have a shot with Andy Dalton. I, I'm not seeing that yet. I'm also going to remind you, Buffalo did make the playoffs. You point out Diggs is now a Bill, and the Dolphins next year have a record that not record. They have the most picks in the whole <laughs> National Football League. They have 14 draft picks, including three in the first round. I'm going to make the case that Buffalo will be better than New England next year, and I think the Dolphins will get better than New England will be next year. I, I don't know if they're going to get Tua with the fifth overall. I don't know if they're going to trade up for Tua. Um, I don't know if they're going to go with Ryan Fitzpatrick for the whole year, but I think they're going to be a big threat to Belichick at least next year. So Shannon Sharp, the Hall of Famer, is dug in at 10-6. and six. I say, here's stuck in my hovel here in West L.A., I'm going 8-8, eight and eight. Uh, and <laughs> okay. that's enough for that one because next up we got to return to the National Basketball Association and talk about Giannis wimping out. Stay tuned for this. 